Hey guys, I'm Movie How To here, and today I'll be showing you how you can use iMovie Theater to easily show your projects on Apple TV. So first, what you need to do is go to the share menu right here, and then in the share menu, you will see a grid of sharing options. The one you want to select is where it says the first one, where it says theater. Just click on it. And if you're signed in into your iCloud account and you have document sharing enabled, it will start exporting your movie. If you haven't signed into iCloud, this icon will have like a line through it and you'll be able to click here and sign in through system preferences. But since we are signed in, all you have to do is go export your project and it will provide your movie and then after that it will basically upload it to iCloud and it'll be viewable wherever. This will probably will take between like 10 or 15 minutes or so, depending on how large your movie is. So just be patient and let it export it and then upload it to iCloud. The advantage of having this on iCloud, though, is you don't have to be on the same network to view this, so you can basically sign in into any Apple TV, iPad, iPhone, or Mac. So once it's done exporting and uploading, it will look like this, and you can go over to your Apple TV. So on your Apple TV, go to your main menu screen, and then scroll all the way down to where it says I'm going to use Tether. Also make sure that you're signing up the same Apple ID you used on your Mac, so it can connect. So when you've made sure you've done that, then click on the IMV Theater icon of your remote. And if you see this message, either the movie hasn't finished uploading from your Mac, or iCloud hasn't synced it with a server yet. Since iCloud normally takes a minute or so to sync, just go back to the main menu and try again. So then, make sure your computer has exported everything, and then just go back to IMV Theater, and try again. Let's just click on it for a remote. It's loading. And there we see our iMovie project we shared. So all you do is just click on it if you're remote. And it will play right on Apple TV.